What's going on guys, I am you here, and welcome to my rendering tutorial in After Effects and Adobe Media Encoder. Adobe Media Encoder is what we're going to be using to render this, um, this project from After Effects, because that is how we're going to get the most quality out of our project as possible for YouTube. Um, if you don't, like, if you, if you have Adobe After Effects, you should have Adobe Media Encoder. They should, like, they come as a pair. Um, you might have to license your media encoder. Um, I'm not sure if you have to. It was a long time ago I did that. But I think you have to license your media encoder as well. Um, although it should come for free with After Effects. So I think it's the same code. I'm not sure. Anyway, let's get started. So um, we're going to start off. We're going to have a project in After Effects. So for this sake, I'm just going to open a project. I'll just go Recent Projects. This is gonna be this is my latest video, my RuneScape edit. Um, just gonna open the optical flares and everything. Opening the project should be done by now. Not sure why it's freezing. Okay, so uh, basically uh, this is this is our our comp, and um, you want to put everything in one comp as you always do. And for media encoder. I suggest like take your comp and put it in a new comp. I'm not going to do it now, but uh, you want to make sure that your comp is the size you want to render it, like the same amount of seconds from the same period of time. Because I'm not sure if you can change that in Media Encoder. You probably can, but I don't know. I'm not. I'm not a pro with Media Encoder. I just know what to do to get the best result. Uh, so anyway, so you you want to save your file in After Effects, save your project, have everything like finished, have it on full. Shouldn't matter, but still. Um, and then you want to go into media encoder. So this is what you want to do. And um, you want to, like, what do you want to do? You want to add a source. You want to go file, add source. Or act actually, you don't have to do, do that. You can actually go to file, add After Effects composition. This also works with Premiere if you're using Premiere. So uh, you want to go After Effects composition. You want to find your project. So I have an A folder on my desktop. And here you can probably recognize a lot of videos here. Um, anyway, uh, what's it called? Here we go. Save six. Okay. Yeah, I know the name. The name's a little funny. So it's going to import the After Effects composition into Media Encoder. So this might take like 30 seconds or something. Like it kind of depends. Like right now it's loading. Doesn't seem to want to load. I'm not sure. It sh should be finished. I'll just come back to you when it's finished. Okay. So uh, now the composition is loaded into Media Encoder. And as you can see here, you have all the compositions from this project here um, with all the solids and everything. So you want to go here. You want to scroll down. You want to find uh, you want to find the composition you want to render. So in my case, it's Result Comp. Um, I'm just going to click OK. So now we have Result Comp added here. And as you realize, uh, or as you can see, the uh, the standard here is 3 GPP 640 by 480 15 FPS. Now we don't want to render like that, obviously. That would be horrible. So uh, what you want to do is you want to go here on the right side with the preset browsers, and you want to click scroll down. I have like special presets already made, but you want to scroll down. You want to go to YouTube, okay? And then you want to select. The YouTube 1080p 29 by 97 H.264. 1920 times 1080, 29.27 FPS. Like just the standard. It should be, you should have it as a preset. But you want to take that and you want to drag it onto your comp. You can probably drag it later, but anyway. So you want to right click, you want to go to preset settings. Okay. Um, and then you want to get a new name. So in my case, it's like YouTube 1080p, I don't know, 60 FPS. It's not really 60 though, but it's pretty much 60. So, and you want to base it on the preset you just chose. Comments, I don't know. You can make a comment if you want to. I don't do that. I don't see the point. Okay. So you want to choose use maximum render quality. And this is personal preference, I guess, with the frame blending, but I don't use it. Um, but some people like it, and if you do, you, you can use it. But it's going to give you like a super smoothed out result. Anyway, so you want to go on video. You want to make sure this is 1920 times 1080. 
Uh, and then frame rate, right? So the first thing you're thinking you want to select 60. I'd select 59.94, but whatever. So you want to click this, but you'll see what happens. So it's going to say invalid frame size frame, sets, frame rate for this level. Please lower the video bounds or frame rate or increase the profile and level and try again. So as you can see, we can't do that, right? So how do we solve this? Well, it's pretty simple. You want to go... Um, Oh god, I'm bad. How do I solve this? I'm so sorry. <laughs> Wait. Okay, hi. Um, what's up? Okay, so uh, as you saw, you couldn't select 59.94 FPS, right? Because yeah, you can't do that with the profile you currently have. So you want to scroll down a bit. That was what I missed. I didn't scroll down. Uh, so you want to scroll down a bit. You want to make sure your profile is on high. And you want to go to level. And you want to select 5.1. And you might want to render maximum depth. So it makes encoding take longer, but you get more quality. So if you're in a hurry, I wouldn't do this. But if you want maximum quality, which is what this tutorial is about, I'd select render at maximum depth. And what you can do now is you can actually select 59.94 FPS. It's actually going to do it for you. So you don't even have to do it, but I'd make sure it's selected anyway. And then you can go to bitrate settings. You definitely want VBR2 pass because that's the best render you're going to get. You can select the maximum bitrate. You can go from 8 to 10, I'd say. Anything more should be like overkill, so you don't want to do that. But 8 to 10 on the maximum. But you want the target bitrate to stay 8 because I think that's the YouTube recommended. And you want to, like, you can have keyframe distance on, you can have it off. Um, once again, that's that's a little too technical for us. So. Let's just skip that. Then you want to go to audio. And what I've personally found is that YouTube sometimes gives you audio delay on 48,000 hertz. So I just always select 44,100, which is supposedly what YouTube uses. Like I've seen them say 48, and I've seen them say 44.1. So I'm really not sure, but I haven't had any audio delay since I started using 44.1. So I suggest you use that. Like the audio quality should be exactly the same, it doesn't matter. So you want the AAC by the way for your audio codec. Um, channel stereo, I guess you could select 5.1, I'm not sure, like I'm not an audio expert. But you want audio quality high, bitrate 320, um, you want bitrate selected. You can use maximum render quality. Uh, of course you want to use maximum, that's what I said before, I forgot to check this on. Um, so you want maximum render quality, multiplexer MP4, stream compatibility, standard, unless you want to like send it to an iPod, but this is for YouTube, so wouldn't make sense. FTP, no. No, just no. Um, filter, Gaussian blur, no. You don't want that. Um, so this is pretty much what you want. And what you do then, you save this template, like I said. Um, I'll just fix the name here, 59.94. And what you do now is you just save this template, save a copy with this name. I already have it, so I'm not going to save it. Um, and then you click Save as Copy, and then you want to go up. Let me just remove this. Oh. Okay, whatever. Um, but what you want to do is, I'm not going to remove it now, but you want to select your template that you have saved, YouTube HD 1080p 59.94, and you just want to drag it onto your comp, so you're going to have it here, you want to select your comp, and you just want to press this play button, which is start queue. So in this case it's going to render three times, but don't worry about that. And um, one thing you're going to realize when you start rendering with two pass is that it's actually going to render your video two times. And it's because it renders the motion first and then the graphics, I think. I'm like, I'm, like I said, I'm not an expert, but I think that's what it does. So don't worry if it renders two times. You'll, you'll see it in the preview win window right here. Um, don't worry if it does. It doesn't mean you'll get two videos. Like, I kind of freaked out at first. <laughs> I was like, no, I messed up. I have a deadline. Um, don't worry about that. Like, it's only going to render one time. You won't have to re-render or anything, so it's just, it's just, it just looks like it renders two times, pretty much. But you'll get one video. So yeah, I hope that helped. I hope you'll uh, check out these render settings, and I promise you, 
this will fix like almost all color banding that you might experience if you're using the standard After Effects render. So yeah, I hope that helped, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.